Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold and resolve if you're getting an error that says you might not have permission to use this network resource on your Windows computer. So if you're having different computers that are hooked up to a work group, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the problem. And this would apply across work groups, home groups, whatnot. So we're going to go into hopefully being able to address the problem without too much of a hassle here. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu. I've gone to start by one time. Type in local security. Best match to come back with local security policy. You want to left click on that one time. Now you want to expand the local policies folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to, to expand it. And now you want to left click on security options. So just left click on the folder one time. On the right side you want to scroll down until you get to network access. And you want to look for something that says do not allow anonymous enumeration of SAM accounts and shares. So it looks like it's up here a little bit. And you want to go ahead and double click on it. Make sure it's set to disabled here. Left click on OK. Once you're done with that you can close out of here. Another thing I would suggest trying would be to actually open up your start menu again. Type in control panel. Best match should come back with control panel. Left click on that one time. Now you want to go to your view by up here to large icons and scroll down until you get to user account or user accounts and left click on that one time. Click on the left side where it says manage your credentials. Left click on Windows credentials. Expand the Windows credentials folder. So if you had a Windows credential listener here, you want to just go ahead and left click on it and then select remove. Then you go ahead and create a new Windows credential. So you're basically just recreating it. So that's another thing I would suggest trying. Also see if your antivirus might be interfering. So if you have a really proactive antivirus that includes a firewall built-in protection, see if it's blocking any potential ports or it's perhaps interfering with the connection. You might want to set up an exception for that. So a few different things about how to hopefully address the problem without too much of a hassle. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.